go up. So it just shows you how much things have changed in, in the, with the passage of time. That will fix them. <laughs> These are my, my, uh, my uh, disclosures are on the Academy uh, website. I don't have anything particularly relevant to, to this topic anymore. This is a patient of mine from around that time, 93 or 94, when I first started practice. He had a bunch of fractures, which we all fixed, and uh, we didn't fix his clavicle. And you see, this is him about nine months later, not looking very happy about it. And you can see the characteristic deformity of his shoulder with that droopy shoulder medially driven in and, and rotated forward. So that's a pretty typical clinical appearance of a non union of the clavicle. It's the original fracture. And this is what he looks like nine months later when he's uh, getting fixed for his non union. So this is one of the first patients where. I thought to myself, and he said to me, you know, he fixed everything else, why didn't he fix my clavicle? And I said, well, because they always heal, and obviously it didn't, and uh, made me start thinking about that topic a bit. There's a number of randomized trials. Now, this is an older uh, paper, but I think there's about maybe 10 or 12 more since then looking at, specifically uh, surgery versus no surgery. These are healthy adult patients, so between 16 and 60, healthy and active. So it's very cr critical to remember that. Not an 8-year-old diabetic, not a 12-year-old kid. What happens when you look at the rate of non-union um, of these, uh, in these studies. Well, basically, you can dramatically reduce the rate of non-union. The best way to treat a non-union is to prevent it from happening, because once it happens, it's always a bit more difficult to fix than a fresh fracture. Every single study done clearly shows a superiority of early fracture fixation when you look at non-union. In this particular meta-analysis, which is a while ago, as I mentioned, there were three non-unions in 214 plated clavicle fractures, a dramatic decrease compared to the non-operative group. And this tells you that your mechanical failure rate should be pretty low when you do a good job plating a clavicle. And when people in the clinic say, you know, why should I have my clavicle fixed? What are the advantages? And I try to give them a balanced discussion there.